What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Battlefield 5. And it's no surprise or, or no kind of new news to anyone that Battlefield 5 has had some struggles since it was released. We've had bugs. We've had players unhappy with all kinds of things within the game. But since Chapter 4 has been released, the bugs have gotten a lot worse than better. Of course, we had a hot fix a few days ago that did not improve anything. It made things even worse than they were. And it's kind of turning off, I think, a lot of the hardcore Battlefield fans, and that is not a good thing for EA and DICE. Now, while a lot of players were looking forward to the things that were coming to the game, we're finally getting some new maps. Uh, the Pacific Theater was kind of getting closer to release. I think a lot of people were getting kind of interested in the game again. Chapter 4 is released, and it pretty much has just destroyed all those hopes. Now... I have talked about it several times in other videos. Uh, I've been a long, long time Battlefield player. have played every single Battlefield title, title that has been made. And yes, there has been issues. Uh, Battlefield 4 had a lot of issues. But I, I think all of these issues over game after game after game has really started to wear on the Battlefield community. And especially with Battlefield 5, it has definitely started to wear on the community. There was a lot of issues with this game when it was released, of course. Y'all know, know all the controversy to begin with. Of course, then it was delayed. I'm a still a firm believer, and I've said this several times, I think the game should have been delayed even more. I personally think the game should have came out this spring, uh, you know, like an April, March, April release. I think the game would have been in a better state. But as we stand right now, it was looking to kind of improve, and now it has not done that. EA and DICE have let the game get even in a worse state than it was to begin with. And, of course, like I said, we've had all kinds of problems as of late. We've had a, a hot fix that was supposed to fix some things that were causing uh, crashes on Xbox. Uh, when they start the game or in mid-game, it would just kick, uh, kick Xbox players. Now, I play on PS4, so I've not had these issues myself, but I know that a lot of the com Xbox community has really been complaining about this. And now it seems that it's even worse than it was. It's kicking when they start the game, kicking in the middle of the game, and the hotfix did nothing. The Chapter 4 update did nothing. The update before that did nothing. And it's just making the situation even worse. Of course, there's players uh, reporting issues with uh, p players being invisible that are shooting at them. They can't even see who's there. So that there's some more bugs there that is causing a lot of problems. And the one big one is hit detection. A lot of people are saying the hit detection is not right. And I will tell you, and I'm sure all of you know this, you see those numbers on the bottom when you're shooting at a player. Since the start of this game, it has always gone above 100. You'll see numbers like 160, 120, 180, 200, 205. And it does not take that much damage to, uh, you know, kill a player in this game. That Those numbers have always been wrong since the start. They have not been fixed. And in my opinion, the hit detection may be a... A bit off right now. It may be the numbers being wrong. It makes you makes it feel like the, the, that the hit detection is off. But either way, it does not matter. It should have been fixed. If it is a UI problem, if it is a numbers problem and is showing the wrong numbers, that should have been fixed a long time ago when it started when the game was first released. I think that the state of the game right now is not good. It's not looking good for the Battlefield franchise as a whole. Uh, when you start having buggy game, uh, buggy games, then it just happens game after game. Uh, and you start getting into the hardcore fans really not wanting to play your game anymore, people saying they're not going to play it at all. Something needs to be done by DICE and AA, and I hope, hopefully it will get done sooner rather than later, but I'm not really crossing my uh, fingers on this one, guys. I'm kind of worried about the Battlefield franchise as a whole and kind of where it's going to go in the future. Leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts, and of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.